I want to say good afternoon and want to welcome everyone again and thank everybody for tuning in to watch us tonight uh, to be with us. It's good to be back here tonight. I did uh, completely miss Sunday and uh, but I did pray for everyone and pray for the services and and uh, pray for everybody's needs. Um, in a way of announcements uh, here tonight, we need to make a couple of announcements. Um, uh, the uh, annual baby bottle drive for the Pregnancy Resource Center uh, starts, uh, the, of course, the first of this month, and it will end on the 31st. Uh, the, of course, the bottles won't be handed out this year uh, with COVID and everything. Uh, so uh, if you have an offering and you're mailing that offering in um, uh, to designate for the Pregnancy Resource Center, uh, what you can do um, is uh, the, write the church, or write the check to the church, and put in the memo on it uh, for uh, P PRC, because uh, what Clayton, uh, what Clayton does is uh, he collects all the money um, together, and he just he writes one uh, one check with everybody's money uh, that's collected for the resource center or other things that we uh, we collect money for. Uh, for the Lottie Moon Christmas uh, offering, the total uh, was twenty three hundred and seventy dollars. Um, so we need to be—we're very thankful for that. Thank everyone uh, for sending in and providing uh, for that. Don't forget this weekend services will be online again. Uh, so you um, uh, plan to watch this again on Sunday morning at ten thirty and Sunday night at six thirty. Um, continue to pray one for another. Uh, continue to pray. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that's uh, got COVID or had it. Uh, got a text from a friend today. His daughter has COVID. We need to remember uh, Callie and her family uh, in in uh, in your prayers. We need to um, continue to pray for all of those that's uh, had needs in our life. I know. It seems like it's already been forever since we've been back in church, but I know there are many needs with everyone, so we do want to remember that everyone in prayer. Um, Gail had sent me a text over Sunday. I didn't get a chance to respond to her. Uh, just work had me slammed. Uh, but Anna is doing much better, uh, so we do need to uh, uh, continue to remember her recovery as well. What do you got there? Okay, uh, Chris was reminding me we have, uh, Clayton's got the uh, receipts uh, for last year uh, for your taxes, and they're here at the church, so uh, if you want to come by, uh, not everybody at once, but come by, pick it up, uh, either tonight, uh, Sunday morning or Sunday night service, and that you can swing by and pick that up uh, a little before, a little after, after church, so uh, we've got those here, so don't forget that. Um, if you have your Bibles and you want to follow along tonight with us, uh, we're going to look in. Uh, we're going to look into First uh, Kings chapter seventeen tonight. First Kings chapter seventeen. Um, I had uh, been studying and been uh, praying about things and was reading this scripture and uh, just I, not really intending on on using it or anything, but really just. Uh, just reading and studying, uh, following along in the Bible, and uh, had no idea that um, the way things would play out uh, with uh, this scripture. And uh, you know, it's it's amazing how that uh, last year, uh, being 2020, all the things that uh, we had gone through. I know some people what they have went through is a lot harder or more difficult than others. I know there's been uh, people that's lost loved ones and people that have been sick and different things. Um, I, I know with our country, um, with all the different things going on around our country with the protests and um, riots and looting and all the different things, uh, it can be disheartening at times. Uh, even today, you turn the news on and um, with uh, what's happening in Washington and uh, the different things, it gets very disheartening uh, during those times. And uh, it's, it's amazing that when you 
look in the scriptures and you see the uh, what to, Elijah is about to go through. The interesting point, I guess, the thought that we want to look at tonight in following the life of Elijah and looking at, at what has taken place in his life. Again, I want to reiterate this. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story. This really happened. And this is, this is God taking care of his man. And you know, uh, when I opened just a minute ago, uh, with all the different things that we've uh, gone through last year, and I want to say this, guess what? We've made it into 2021. Um, Laurie uh, has mentioned several times that she couldn't wait for 2020 to end. She's here tonight, so I can, I can pick on her, but uh, we've made it through it. This upcoming year, we don't know what we're going to face. We don't know what we're going to go through. We don't know the struggles that we may find ourselves in. Uh, we don't know the things that uh, could uh, uh, make us disheartened at times. Uh, but we all know this. Uh, God's still in control, and he still has everything in his hands. You see this story, and I, you know, I, I can remember uh, back many years ago, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 8 years ago, I don't remember the exact year or the time frame, but I do remember when uh, we were going through a, a great drought, uh, I can't remember if it was the summertime or fall, um, I know many, a few years back we had the fires up in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and I know it was very dry then, but this was a time period that was before that. Uh, there was a great drought, and uh, water levels were the lowest they had ever been. Uh, they, was, they were even routing temporary water supplies uh, from different sources in that. If you remember back, there was a, a squabble going on between Tennessee and Georgia who had certain rights over a river and could pour wa pull water from and I remember that being a drought because uh, when you start thinking about not having water, when you start thinking about not having food, you know, that can really, uh, that can really put pressure and stress on a person's life. Even being jobless, you know, that falls right in there with it. So it puts a lot of pressure and it puts a lot of, uh, I guess, anxiety and different things in a person's life. Uh, health, whatever it may be, relationship issues, it can bring that as well. Sin can do the same thing. But what we see here is uh, what Elijah is about to go through. Uh, the point that I want to make it to is he made it through, and he made it through with God's help. So let's read here for just a moment, and starting in verse number 1, and we'll just read a few verses. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Now, to put this in perspective, uh, most uh, of us in the last, I guess, couple weeks, uh, even uh, Christmas, uh, we went out and had to scrape the snow off the car. This morning we had a frost on the windshield. To put this in perspective, uh, there wasn't enough moisture uh, to even put frost on the windshield back in the day, okay? So there just it just didn't happen. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is beyond Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and, it, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. And he went and did according unto the word of God, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass, after a while, the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer, Lord, tonight, thanking you, Lord, for your many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, God, you've given us to stand here tonight to preach your word. Lord, we pray uh, that, God, as this word goes out, that it would be uh, a great help unto all of, all of those that are listening. Help, it to, help us to grow. Uh, help us to uh, le learn to lean on you more often. 
uh, learn to trust you, learn to stay with you, uh, learn in our hearts and lives, God, that no matter what we face, no matter what comes our way, no matter what the future holds, God, we can always trust you and we can always lean up on you. Lord, have your way in our hearts tonight. Forgive us for where we fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So here we see um, the, uh, Elisha has spoken and he he's said that uh, that and said, uh, "For whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain uh, these years, but according to my word." And then you see that uh, it, it's amazing that in all of this uh, that's going on, you you we don't have the picture, but just a just a little bit uh, of what actually took place in the land. Here we see that uh, there was a, a widow woman there uh, at Zarephath, and we see that. As Elijah was moving him from the brook to her place, uh, you know, she's preparing the last meal, I guess. Uh, she's preparing to die. Uh, she's, she's looked in her meal barrel and saw that the meal barrel's just got a little bit empty. Uh, she's looked at the, uh, the oil bottle. Uh, there's just a little bit of oil in it. And so she's preparing for the end. Had no idea that God was going to provide in a mighty way that he is. But you know... Doesn't God always provide in a mighty way, no matter no matter what it may be? Uh, we 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 you know I believe we take the little things for granted sometimes. Uh, you know, just a God answering a simple prayer ain't that a mighty thing that God's done in answering those simple little prayers? Uh, sometimes we uh, people have prayers that, that you know what they in our eyes they don't stack up to some person's great big prayer but you know in God's eyes they're all the same because you know what uh, at God's level and where he's at it doesn't matter how small or how big it doesn't matter how great it is or how easy it may be they're 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 all easy when it comes to God so when you see here uh, we see just a glimpse of what uh, uh, they're going through all the people in the land and it, it, you know what there's probably a lot more that happened that that we have no idea that took place uh, uh, just so just a small glimpse you know when you think about that and you see the place and where they're at you see what's going on uh, many people could look around and it would be easy for them uh, to say and to think there's no hope it's very easy for them to think there's no way out of this. Uh, it's not rain in the space of three years. Uh, uh, we, we don't expect rain to come. Uh, many people uh, uh, probably believe in that it was the end. Uh, listen, it's not the end until God says it's the end. And when you notice this here, even, even Elijah, uh, when he's sitting there. Now, could you imagine? I've always, I've always wondered what went race through the mind of Elijah. It's amazing when you uh, see a TV show or you see a movie. Or, or you read in a book where uh, there's a drought, or somebody's trying, uh, somebody's trying to uh, save water. You know what? What they'll do is they'll uh, whatever their their water in the container that they have, uh, the, it'll have a level, and and they'll mark it, and they may put a date on it. And, and what they're doing, they're watching the timeline of when that water would begin uh, to dry up or to begin to go out. And what they're doing is uh, they're looking at a glass. Uh, like I guess you could say an hourglass and they're watching it do, uh, go down huh? and so what they try to do is they try to limit their intake of water uh, so that they can make the source uh, the, the stretch out longer we've all done that it, you know it's kind of funny uh, you know, I, I'm not going to point fingers I'm not going to call names but it was brought out at Christmas last year of how some person and it, I, hey we're guilty Laurie's done it guilty of it you know when you start getting a little bit low on dish soap or hand cleaner you start mixing a little water in it, uh, uh, trying to make it last longer. We all we all do that. Uh, uh, but you know what? I could imagine Elijah sitting there, and every day that he gets up. Now you got to remember, uh, there wasn't a time that the ravens failed uh, to supply the need unto Elijah. It wasn't. It wasn't that uh, they just brought it through uh, whenever. In that uh, they were commanded of God uh, to bring and deliver uh, flesh and bread. Now could you imagine he's sitting there? 
and he's sitting in his lawn chair by the, by the brook and he's looking out and over a period of time the level just keeps getting lower but I, what I want to say is this uh, uh, son, I, I don't know about uh, Elijah uh, I, I do know about him uh, but I know that with me uh, watching that level get low I'd start getting a little bit worried uh, stress would start to increase in my life I'd start getting worried what am I going to do next uh, but do you know that I have to believe in my heart uh, as Elijah was looking at he said you know what Lord the water level's getting low but you know what you've never failed me yet you're just going to supply it some other way uh, now think about that for a moment uh, when you see something start to dwindle away it brings fear uh, it brings doubt uh, it brings stress in a person's life but we've got to remember as a church uh, and as a child of God uh, uh, God uh, uh, doesn't deliver on what we see uh, God delivers on faith uh, and notice this uh, as long as Elijah stayed uh, right where he's at he was okay uh, you know what that's the thing uh, that I wish I could tell people today uh, as long as you can stay with God uh, and stick with Jesus in that you'll be alright uh, but you know there's things uh, that draw us away uh, that draw us away from uh, the Lord uh, uh, draw us away from church uh, uh, draw us away from from a, a, a studying in prayer huh, and reading God's word. Huh? But you know what? I'm thankful huh, that Elijah stayed right where he's at. Huh? And you know what? I don't believe he left a minute too soon and I don't me believe he left a minute too late. Huh? He went when God uh, commanded him. Now notice this. And the Bible says, And the, and the word of the Lord uh, came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath. Now I want you to think about this. Anytime the Lord speaks to your heart, you know what? Ain't that so awesome? Huh? Ain't that amazing? Huh? You know what? I can't, you know, when He touches my little old heart sometimes, uh, the tears begin to roll. Huh? Uh, you know what? You say, Preacher, why is that? Huh? It's because, uh, listen, huh? you're saved by the grace of God, huh? but you are important to God. Huh? When God speaks unto you, huh? if you can remember, Remember, uh, uh, we preached just a week ago or two weeks ago about when E.F. Hutton speaks, uh, uh, people listen. Uh, uh, listen, when God uh, uh, touches your heart and head, you know what? I have to believe in my heart uh, uh, that God spoke to Elijah. Uh, and you know what? Uh, a joy overwhelmed him uh, because God spoke to him. Notice this. Uh, and the Bible says, which belongeth to Zidon and dwell there, behold, I have commanded a widow woman woman to sustain thee now ain't that ain't that amazing that you know what in, in all the troubles that's going on in all the famine throughout the land in all the dryness and no and, and no crops and no food I, you know what if the water's dried up I have to imagine the fish dried up and died uh, but yet God said I'm going to sustain you uh, listen you're a child of God today uh, in this new year that's coming up we don't know what's going to happen but you know what uh, God is going to sustain us had an incident at work today. I didn't. Had a friend. He got. He got. In, he got hurt. He's all right. Got his hand mashed. It, um, and you know what? When he left his house this morning, and when he got to work, he had no idea that that was going to happen. I, I have to believe that. I had no idea that he'd get injured. He's all right. But you know what? That's the way things fall sometimes. Listen, uh, in our lives, things happen. Things going to befall into us. We wake up one day, and you know what? Then we may have a condition. We may have COVID. We may we may have problems, or whatever it may be. What I want to leave you with is tonight: stay with God, huh? because God is the source tonight. Let us pray. Dear my Father, we come to you in prayer, thanking you, Lord, for your precious word, thanking you, Lord, tonight for. Elijah and his testimony, God, that he left behind that, Lord, that when those times don't seem so good, when the circumstances are surrounding our lives doesn't seem like they used to be, when things just don't look right, God, we can always look to you for help and we can always look to you knowing, God, that you're going to sustain us. Lord, as we pray tonight, I know there's many needs and I know there's many people with just all kinds of things going on in their life. 
Lord, I want to encourage them, God, with this scripture. Just stick with you. Stay with, stay with you no matter what we look at, no matter what we hear, no matter what's said, no matter what's on the news. We just stay with you. Lord, as we pray tonight, maybe there's someone that's lost. Maybe there's someone, God, that needs to be saved. We pray, God, that uh, the, this message is another message is, God, the church has shared and preached that that person would come to realize you as their personal Savior. Lord, as we go out these doors in just a moment and as people uh, go through life in the upcoming weeks and uh, different things, God, we just pray, God, for uh, just your hand to be in our life and watching over us. Lord, as we pray tonight, we want to give you all the praise and thanks for your worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Good night. God bless.